What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day. Welcome back to Farm Sim News. Yeah, yeah. We've got three big things to talk about today. We have mods in testing. Oh yeah, that list has changed. Alien Jim has said on his Facebook page he's going to be releasing an MF Shed Pack. That is the Mercury Farm Shed Pack to be used on any map as a mod. Very cool. And we have three brand new fact sheets for the Anderson DLC that will be releasing this coming Tuesday. First up, we have our mods and testing for PC. We have Crab Steering Settings, Farming Legend, Framist Ecolaz, which looks to be either a subsoiler or a small plow, Front Loader Cam, Mill Landscape Midland. Now, Farming Legend, I believe to be a map and as well as Mill Landscape Midland. Realistic Steering, We've got an oddball for PlayStation 4 only. We have large vehicle shed. My assumption here is that this is passed for PC and for Xbox, but for some reason they're having trouble with it on PlayStation 4. At least that's my assumption. We've also got an update to haul. We've got the Horse Toronto 4FX. This is going to be a cultivator. We've got the Joskin Modulo 2 still in testing right now. This is a slurry spreader. We've got the Lizard Neo Pack. I have no idea what this is. We've got the Lizard SH1 Bell Grab. Now, because it's a Lizard brand, we have no idea exactly what it's going to be like because Lizard doesn't exist. It's an in-game brand only. So what I've done is I've found a picture of what I think it's gonna look like, but it may change. We have Multi-Filling Station. We've got the Skitter MF320 from Black Sheep Modding. This is in testing. Right now, as we speak, this was a mod that was supposed to be coming out for 17. Some things happened, and it never did. Unfortunately, or fortunately, rather, for us, we will be getting it in 19, and it's in testing for console. It's so close. And we've got Slurry Tanker 14 with Injector. And with all that being said, we have 179 mods sitting, waiting to be tested. On Facebook, Alien Jim has posted on Alien Jim's FS Mods, link in the description below. He's got a picture of some of the sheds from the Mercury Farms shed pack that he's got going on there. A lot of people have asked to have these sheds in other maps, not just Mercury Farms. So what he's done is he's made a shed pack. Now, I don't know if these are the only ones that are going to be in the shed pack or if it's going to be everything. But I know here we've got seed refill, fertilizer refill. We've got both of those, which you guys know, there's also herbicide and lime in there as well, uh, which is so cool. And then we've got the two bay with the large open area. We've got one of the silos. We have a three bay and then we have the large four bay. Oh man, this is going to be cool. Soon we'll be able to use these on any map that we want to. How cool is that? Moving over to Twitter, we've got six, that's right, six fact sheets for you guys today. Sit back and relax, this is going to be cool. So we've got, the first one is the Anderson A700 Food Mixer. It's going to cost you $70,000, $70,500. Holds 23,475 liters. It is an odd number, but as soon as the DLC comes out, I will let you guys know the best way to load these with bales, loose, and by using your silos as well help you guys out a little bit with that you're going to need 120 horsepower to power this and of course it is a food mixer next up we have the centerpiece the party piece for the anderson dlc the hybrid x extractor oh man i'm excited about this it is an inline wrapper it has 20 horsepower it only costs 34,900. 34,900 that's it to make <laughs> to make a bell snake you can't that's awesome i'm gonna have like six of these i'm so excited and of course it will do round bells and square bells it will go five kilometers per hour and you can change the foil color next we have the anderson m160 tree log transporter this is going to cost you 19,600, and it will move three or four meter length logs so not huge logs this is not a huge piece of equipment you can see in the picture in the background I believe that is the JCB 4220. And you can see in comparison, you know, that's not a huge tractor by any means. I mean, it's right smack dab in the middle of the medium tractors. So you get an idea of how large this thing's going to be. Regardless, this is cool. 
Moving over to our next fact sheet, this is the Anderson RB580. This is a bell wrapper. It's going to cost you $19,500, and it will wrap round bells. I don't know if you could change the foil color. It doesn't say. I would think it would. If you could, I would think it would. But we'll just say for now, no, you cannot change foil color until we know different. Next, we have the Anderson RBM Pro 2000. Ah, yeah, this is a bell collector mainly used for wrapped round bells. It's going to cost you 72200 requires 130 horsepower, and it will move 24 round bells. That's right, 24 round bells. That's exciting and a little crazy. That's a lot of bells. And your last fact sheet of the day, this is the Anderson Stack Pro 7200. This is a bell collector, $89,000. It's going to require 175 horsepower to move and will hold 16 square bales. So here's my question. Are you going to be using this or are you going to be using the end game square bell collector? Or are you going to use both? Or are you just not getting the Anderson DLC altogether? If you guys are curious on how to acquire the Anderson DLC, check this out. So the Anderson DLC will be released for PC, Mac, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One for only $9.99. Uh, that is Euros and that is American US dollar as well. Owners of the Farming Simulator 19 Season Pass will get the Anderson Group DLC for free, of course. So if you guys are on Xbox or PlayStation 4 and you have the Season Pass, you will get this automatically. However, you will need to download it. What you need to do is go into the Mod Hub, go to Downloadable Content, and it will be in there. It says PC and Mac users can pre-order the game. However, PC players who bought the game via Steam, as well as PlayStation 4 and Xbox One players, can buy the DLC via the store on release day. So you can buy this on your PlayStation 4 or Xbox One store, as well as the Steam store, once it is released day of. We'll be doing a full breakdown of the entire DLC when it is released, we will be going live Tuesday morning whenever this is released. I'm so excited about this DLC. Well, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like. No, please subscribe. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comment section below. I'd be happy to help you guys out. Well, this is what we're here for. That being said, hope you have a great day, and we will see you later. Peace.